less than one month, the carbon tax is going to jump 50%, creating more of a financial burden for Albertan families across this province when they can least afford it. Perhaps the most troubling fact is, is that this backward tax will attack our most vulnerable populations, seniors, low-income Albertans, those on age. When the legislation was introduced, this side of the House put forward a multiple of amendments asking the government to exempt our vulnerable populations and the organizations that serve them. These were voted down. Why is the government, Mr. Speaker, targeting vulnerable Albertans with the carbon tax? Why? The Honourable Minister of Environment and Parks. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, uh, the full rebate goes to 60% uh, uh, of Albertans. Two thirds of Albertans get a rebate. If you're a couple who makes uh, um, less than 95,000, you're getting a $450 rebate. If you have two kids, uh, that goes to 540. Low-income seniors in uh, uh, Alberta, Mr. Speaker, are getting a $300 rebate. Uh, we've also set up energy efficiency programs for nonprofits, for small business, uh, for uh, uh, community centres, for uh, farms, for First Nations, Mr. Speaker, so that they. Can and save money on their bills and uh, live more comfortably, Mr. Speaker. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker, the rebates don't help the not-for-profits, and the rebates is less than the cost. So, Mr. Speaker, given that we've heard from countless not-for-profit organizations that assist vulnerable Albertans, that they will not be able to provide the level of the service they once did or be able to serve the volume of clients they were once able to because of the impact of the NDP carbon tax and what it will have on their bottom line, why is the government not supporting our not-for-profit organizations by refusing to exempt them from the carbon tax? Minister. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, uh, we moved forward with a number of different initiatives for nonprofits. Uh, uh, last year, if the uh, honourable member was paying attention, she would have noticed that uh, uh, we uh, uh, had an audit program. We have the business nonprofit and institutional program. Mr. Speaker, it's those energy efficiency programs that the folks across the way have done nothing but make fun of the entire time that we have uh, had them introduced, Mr. Speaker, because they don't want those organizations to save money. They don't want to put people to work on energy uh, retrofits and other forms of efficiency. They want us to be stuck in the Stone Age. May not our members, we talked about judging the motives of the parties last week. I want to remind you uh, about those uh, kind of comments. Uh, the Honourable Member for Chestermere Rocky View, I think we are at second supplement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I, I don't know how energy efficiency is going to help not profits or at this point in time. However, if that's the way that the, that the Minister is going, the Speaker has been given that non-for-profits were already struggling, Mr. Speaker. And there are high demands for the services and fewer donations because of the stressed economy. And given that the carbon tax is a significant expense for these organizations, regardless of the efficiencies, where does the government expect it for Albertans to run? when the not-for-profits that actually provide the services for them are forced now to turn them away because of the carbon tax that is making it more expensive to operate the uh, not-for-profits. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, we have invested in a number of uh, uh, new initiatives for businesses, nonprofits, and institutions, Mr. Speaker, that are allowing uh, uh, folks to retrofit their uh, their operations to to save money. I just toured a recreation centre, Mr. Speaker, on Thursday. Vivo in Calgary. They re retrofitted their lighting, and they're saving eighty thousand dollars, Mr. Speaker. That's exactly the kind of leadership that the Conservatives would turn their backs on. But those folks in Calgary. They're doing the right thing. Yeah.